Hello, and welcome to part 5 of Exploring ES6 with Tracer. In this video, we will look at destructuring, a useful feature for extracting values from a collection. So here I have an array of values. And often, I will want to use just one value at a time, in which case I would use a loop. But what if I need to extract all or some of the values into different variables? Then I would need to do something like this in ES5 and I would end up with a whole bunch of variable declarations. This is tedious, error-prone, and messy. So the goal of destructuring is to reduce the assignments to one line of code. And it will look something like this. So what will happen here is 0 will be assigned to A, 1 will be assigned to B, 1 to C, 2 to D, and so on. And this is the complement, in a way, to the comprehensions that we looked at earlier. Comprehensions collect multiple values and place them in a collection, whereas destructuring extracts multiple values from a collection. So let's run this through Tracer and see what we get. So Tracer, and I will put this into the build directory as destructuring.es5.js and destructuring.es6.js will be my input file. Now, and I've already got my main file set up for this over here. So, at this point, you're probably wondering, do we have to set a flag in order to get destructuring to work? And the answer is yes. It's disabled by default. However, we're getting to the point where as we add more and more features, that adding all these flags is going to be is going to become quite burdensome and quite tedious. So Tracer gives us a single flag that we can use to enable all of the experimental features, which will be double dash experimental. So this will enable uh, this will enable destructuring. It'll also enable block binding as I am as I'm using the uh, let keyword here. So now I can run this, and since I've already got my main file set up. If I run node main.js, we see these values have been assigned to these variables. But what if we don't want all the values? What if we only want the even indices? Well, we can simply skip those that we don't want. And it looks like this. We simply place a comma with no variable. Notice that destructuring will omit the values for which a variable is not provided, and that includes these at the end as well. And if we want to, if we only want the odds, we can skip the first value as well. Now, before we run this, a sidebar about let syntax is appropriate here. Notice that I did not use the let keyword on line 17 because I had previously declared A, B, C, and D on line 15. If I'd used the var keyword, I could have used it on both lines. But let will only let you declare a variable once. Using var in both places would have been redundant and ambiguous, so let fixes this problem as well. So let's go ahead and recompile this and run it. And so for the first one, we get the even indices, and for the second one, we get the odd indices. In addition to destructuring arrays, you can also destructure objects. You simply provide the keys for the values that you want instead of the positions in the array. So here, this would pull out the title and the price. And we'll uncomment this line, recompile, and see that it worked the way we expected it. Now, a great place to use destructuring is when returning multiple values from a function. Of course, you can't really return multiple values. They would need to be packed into a collection, as in this example here. So we would have to return a single value, this array. However, with destructuring, the calling code can act as if there are multiple return values. So instead of so instead of 
returning the array into a single variable and then pulling and then pulling city and state out individually I can do all three of those lines in a single line here and we will recompile and run it again and get the expected result so destructuring is more syntactic sugar however like comprehensions it makes code much more concise and readable. Stay tuned for more cool ES6 videos in this series. Thanks for watching, and I welcome any feedback.